a lot of that shit they be doing, I can't even uh, get my mind wrapped around the defending it. I would never defend shit like that. That's I just let you know that that's a lie. You know what I mean? You can take it or you can leave it. I don't care. Because at the end of the day, it's still, I run with me. Can a motherfucker say nothing about me that I can take unless I want to take it? I don't have to take the shit. I don't have to, oh man, this motherfucker said this. And ponder, I don't have to. A lot of these niggas' words ain't worth digesting. It's not worth it. You know what I mean? Because you can isolate a bunch of suckers easily. They're not hard to read. A bunch of liars are going to lie. Liars going to lie. You know, people are going to be who they are. Anti-Afro Spengalis. I just wanted to jump in briefly to stress, emphasize what grown man just stated. That is a mark of true maturity. Are you really able to cast off not internalize what enemies and demons think and say about you. Now, that doesn't mean you wouldn't have a response. A response just wouldn't be going all hysterical, being up in tatters, feeling you got to run to all these panels. You don't owe enemies and demons any explanation about anything about you. They can't call you to answer to anything. Let it fall where it falls. Let me make it clear. This T piece of shit, this T pre, whatever her name is, is trying desperately to steer her sinking, stinking ship in my direction because grown man and M3 are taking care of business. It doesn't mean they're going to go hop on her panel. The we means mature adults. We provide content to people who support us. We don't cater to demons, to freaks, to liars, to non-reform minded subjects and those who don't have respect for themselves. A person who doesn't have respect for herself, this is T piece of shit, is really expecting self-respecting people to answer to her. It's a dream. It'll never materialize. What she is doing is against the law. She's putting an innocent person at risk. I don't owe her a single explanation to any of that garbage I was told that she said, and I'm not. You are not a law enforcement official. You are not the victim whose picture you have up there. And we're going to move forward with our reward program. And I'm going to lead this victim right to you. Dumpsey already has something else going on. We'll deal with him in a different context. I don't answer any of your questions. And you have to really think about it. How can someone think about dictating to you when they need you so they make money off of you? Sounds an awful lot like slavery. Before we fall off into the fantasy realm, I'm going to keep you in reality. I'm going to go back to grown man's comments. Don't touch that dial after you hear Fire, be where? We in a frenzy now, huh? I, I kind of figured that that uh, that was gonna happen. But yo, if y'all can recall, right? Um, Caesar said that um, the, the, the pictures wasn't her. And that wasn't her family. But now they're her. So if the pictures are her and the family is her, those eviction notices were her, those PPP loans are her, and all that shit is her. Like, why you mad? You mad now because you want to try to uh, expose something that there's nothing to expose over this side. These people over here, me and my, we are who we say we are. You don't want to come on here lying. That's why y'all all in a frenzy. And then you got the two dirtiest, decrepit, the double Ds. The Dirty Detroit and the Dirty Delaware. A Sha Moody and a Sandusky. Right. All balled up. You see, they all balling up. All the derelicts, you can basically point them out. They all in a little crowd together. Up all night, posting shit, posting shit, posting shit. That's crazy. You know, and then you run around putting filters on them. Put, no, no, no. You are an ugly female. You ugly. You dirty.
I'm not dropping no locations nowhere. All you got to do is come to Philly and cam the fuck up. I know every corner in this bitch. Just come to Philly, bring the biker club. Y'all should my ride down motherfucker 76. A whole bike, bring the whole biker club and tell me where y'all at. Just, just cam the fuck up. It ain't that hard. You ain't got to drop a location where y'all. Nah, that's not how it works around here. And I don't know why you think you can dictate anything. You're a bum. You're a bum broad. Like, come on now. You hang in biker clubs with a bunch of big back bitches, big husky back linebacker looking bitches. And you talking about you on line trying to kick all this fly shit. You a cheap alcohol drinker, just like your partner. You a nasty swinger. And that's who, that's who hang in those type of biker clubs. I can imagine how many times you done been spread out on a pool table after two o'clock. Every child you got probably by a biker nigga. Some nigga you met at a biker club. Had a two night stand with or some shit a weekend. You a nasty broad. It's all in your persona. That's why you on here faking so hard. The motherfucking spirits ain't tell you about me. The, 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 ball, the, the ball ain't tell you I wasn't to be fucked with over here. <laughs> I always say this. People ain't playing. Be careful who you play with. Everybody's not for play. Give a fuck if a motherfucker put my picture out there. But I do have a problem with people going in my personal Facebook shit. But hey, you got one too. So now yours is going in too. Don't put no filters on your pictures, babe. You ain't got to filter them ugly motherfuckers up. Ain't a filter in the, in the world can help you. You got Sandusky in your blood, girl. And you rolling with a shy moody. A dirty shy moody who accepts shoes from other men online. That's not no man you with. You ain't over there with a, no man. And I want to see y'all help this motherfucker when the fucking heat comes down on him. The water is up to that punk's neck. He don't even get it. He don't even get it. He's too fucking uh, 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 dejected and rejected to even get it. And y'all motherfuckers, y'all motherfuckers knew he was a piece of shit from the day y'all was messing with him. All that good guy shit here, part of the good guys. Y'all motherfuckers knew he was a fucking piece of shit. That's why he turned on all y'all. Y'all was using him. Y'all was just using him. I wouldn't have never used a piece of shit like that. I don't give a fuck who I'm going after. I don't want that motherfucker part of nothing I do. You never can put good food with bad food because it's going to spoil. You're going to spoil the good shit. Bad shit is you can't just isolate bad shit and drop it in your fucking food every now and then. No, it don't work. That punk, Shamudi, Dirty Detroit, uh, whatever you call it, had that lady on a dog's face. I mean, it, 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 she do look like a dog and all that. But how is that your friend now? Y'all not friends. Y'all just two dejected rejects who got exposed. I want to see that motherfucking government badge again. We got to see that again. Say you work for the government again, punk. I dare you. I don't give a fuck how many times you distort my wife's picture, nigga. You will never look like a woman. You would never be a woman. The closest you come to looking like a woman is the bitch you with. Caesar. Y'all y'all could be brother and sisters because y'all two ugly motherfuckers inside and out. <laughs> You used to lie for D. Durrell and TC and the, and the good guys. They know it now. They know it now. Anybody we used to work with, when you was with Photon, y'all used to lie with him. Y'all lied together making up shit over there on people. He helped you. He know you a piece of shit now because you turned on him. I'm not going to wait for a snake to bite me. Get the fuck away from me. Snake going to die around me. I'm not harboring no motherfucking snake. And I'm not scared of him either. Oh, that's a baby. He's just a baby. He's not a baby. He's a piece of shit, grown ass man. That's a homosexual who's afraid to let us know. But outside, everybody know he a punk, a dirty one at that. Don't know upstand a homosexual except shoes from other men. Did anyone hear that fool called himself suing Dumpsty D. Durrell? However, his 350 filing fee check bounced. Prior to that, fool had errors and the suit was rejected several times. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> oh my goodness. Did you check the case? It is so bad.